Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be interesting because I have a brand new laptop to show you all. The thing is, a lot of you guys have commented in my recent videos saying, Hey Vimal, can you make a video on an ideal mid-range laptop that is suitable for this current work from home scenario? Since this whole pandemic situation started, a lot of people are usually working from home only and for that purpose, they want to buy a new laptop. Uh, and most of the people who are like go to office or IT professionals, they don't prefer to buy gaming laptops guys because see gaming laptops are heavy, they're very thick and not that easy to carry also. That's why they want to uh, buy laptops that are like lightweight, super portable, should offer great performance on the go and also come with like decent battery life. And that is what I'll be showing you in this video. So if you came looking for such a laptop, this one will be like very useful for you. So today ASUS has launched a couple of new laptops in their lineup guys, especially in the ZenBook series, which are like the premium range of laptops. Then we've got VivoBook series and also they've launched a new VivoBook Ultra laptop that starts at only like 39,000 rupees. The one we'll be checking out in this video is the new VivoBook S14 from ASUS. It comes with some decent specs on paper, like it's powered by the new Intel's 10th gen CPUs available in two variants, either i5 or i7 as per your preference. And not only that, it's got like a very slim profile, lightweight so you can easily carry it anywhere, has a webcam as well so you can even attend your Zoom calls and a lot of other features which I'll be showing you in this video. So what I'll do is I'll quickly unbox it, we'll talk about the specs and see uh, how this laptop performs. I'll give you a complete review on this product. So let's get started. So the new VivoBook S14 from ASUS comes in this sort of box packaging. It's a simple looking cardboard box with the ASUS branding on the front side. And the model of the laptop we'll be reviewing today in this video is S433F. Going to the back, we've got all the specs of the product. Let me show you. The VivoBook S14 comes with a 14 inch Full HD frameless Nano Edge IPS display. It's powered by Intel's new 10th gen i5 10210U, has Nvidia's GeForce dedicated MX250 GPU, comes with 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 512 GB of PCI Gen 3 onboard storage. So these were some of its highlights. Now let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut this seal on the box. There we go. And on opening the box, we've got our brand new VivoBook S14 at the top. The laptop comes in four different colors. The one we have right now is a special dreamy white edition. Let me quickly take it out and show you. Wow, now that is one classy looking laptop. Feels quite premium in the hand. And also from my first impressions, I have to say, the laptop is very slim and also quite lightweight in the hand. Weighs only around 1.4 kgs. Keeping that aside, we've got some paperwork here along with a special sticker pack to personalize the laptop. A 19V 3.42A power adapter for charging it and a main cord for the adapter. That's it, these are all the items we got in the package. Now let me finally show you the laptop, the new 2020 edition VivoBook S14. First impressions, it's a very beautiful looking laptop, especially love this dreamy white variant. Talking about the design, it's a very compact and lightweight laptop as I mentioned before, with the top lid having a super smooth surface in a dreamy white paint job. The white color actually shines and glows in rainbow which is very subtle depending on the direction and the intensity of the ambient light. The build quality of the S14 is pretty good, feels solid and sturdy in the hand. The whole chassis of the laptop is built out of aluminum alloy that is finished in a diamond cut design. So let me show you all the available connectivity ports on it. On the left side, there's a DC in port, a HDMI, USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, USB 3.2 Type-C port and a 3.5mm audio jack. There's nothing on the front side. And going to the right, we've got some more ports as well as indicators, which include a charging LED indicator, power LED indicator, a micro SD card reader, and two more USB 2.0 ports. So that's it, these are all the available connectivity ports on it. And as I mentioned before, the entire chassis of the laptop is made out of metal. And this is how the bottom part looks like. We've got some rubber foot pads on all the corners and the Vivo Book features Herman Kardon certified down firing stereo speakers. You can see them over here. Also, one more thing I'd like to mention is the bottom panel of the laptop is easily removable to upgrade the storage on it. It offers an additional SSD slot to increase the storage to a max of up to 2 TB. If you ask about the RAM, that is not upgradable. So that was our complete overview on the design and the build quality. Now let me open the laptop and give you all a look on the inside. So this is how the S14's interior looks like. 
has a classy black and silver design with the Asus VivoBook branding over here. Let's talk about the display. It comes with a 14-inch LED backlit 1080p IPS frameless Nano Edge display. The bezels on it are quite thin on the sides as well as the top, resulting in an 85% screen to body ratio. But as you can see, the bottom bezel is a bit thicker. Now going to the top, there's a HD webcam and some sensors over here. And that's it, that was about the upper half. Let's have a look at the lower half as well. First, let's talk about the keyboard. It features a full-size chiclet keyboard with backlit LED lighting. The keyboard offers a good and comfortable experience while typing, and the quality of the keys is also nice. Offers a clicky experience with a decent key travel of around 1.4 mm. I also like this subtle neon green accent they've used around the enter key. As I've mentioned before, the keyboard is also white LED backlit and the brightness can also be adjusted on it in three steps. This white LED lighting can be quite handy while using the laptop in low lighting conditions. So coming to the trackpad, it's got a glass covered trackpad and the trackpad was doing a good job. The surface felt smooth, was easily recognizing my inputs and was accurately detecting my gestures as well. I didn't face any sort of dead zones also anywhere. Not only that, the good thing over here is, the S14 also features a fingerprint scanner on it. So you can use Windows Hello to easily log into your laptop without the need of typing passwords. And the fingerprint reader was doing a good job most of the time. Now let's talk about the main thing, the display quality. As I mentioned before, it comes with a 14 inch LED backlit Full HD 1080p frameless Nano Edge IPS display. And let me tell you, it's a really good display for that price. The screen looks sharp, bright, the colors are also nice and punchy thanks to its 100% sRGB color gamut and the contrast levels were also fine. It's not the most color accurate display I've seen till now, but very good that I can say around this price range. You'll surely enjoy watching movies or even Netflix series and the overall experience was good. And not only that, it is also suitable for professional work like photo or video editing on the go. Just have a look at these clips. Coming to the sound, the S14 has down firing stereo speakers certified by Herman Carden, and the audio quality was decent with minimum distortion. But the only thing I felt was the output was not that high, and especially when you're using it on your lap, there were chances of blocking the speakers due to their position. My dream gaming PC, guys. And to be honest, you can actually say that this is like a dream gaming PC for most of the gamers out there. Alright, let's talk about the performance. The VivoBook S14 is powered by Intel's new 10th gen CPUs and comes in two variants, one with an i5 and the second with an i7. The one we have right now is the i5 variant. The i5-10210U is a 4-core 8-thread CPU with a max turbo boost of up to 4.2GHz. I've ran some benchmarks using Geekbench 4, we got a single-core score of around 1091 and a multi-core score of 3640. If you ask me, the laptop is great for your daily office work, it can handle most of the tasks. And not just that, you can even do photo and slide video editing on it as well. And since it came with a dedicated MX250 GPU from Nvidia, I did some gaming on it and let me tell you, it was actually not that bad. You can see I'm playing GTA 5 at 1080p resolution with the graphic quality set to normal and the laptop was easily maintaining an average frame rate of around 80 to 85 FPS. See, the laptop is not made specially for gaming, but that doesn't mean you can't play games on it. Yes, it can definitely handle some casual gaming when played at 1080p normal settings or 720p resolution at high graphics settings. Just check out this gameplay video so you'll get an idea on the performance. Talking about the heat and the fan noise, the laptop was getting slightly hot in the region above the keyboard and also on the bottom side and the fan noise was not that high. I didn't face any sort of disturbance while using it. Finally, let me tell you about the battery life. The S14 comes with a 3 cell 50 watt hour lithium polymer battery and the battery life was pretty good and satisfying. On an average, when you use it for day-to-day -day tasks like browsing the web, streaming some YouTube videos, slight photo editing and stuff like that, with the brightness set to 60%, I was getting around 8-9 to nine hours of battery life. But the best part is, it also supports fast charging. I could charge the laptop up to 60% in only around 45-50 to 50 minutes. 
Well guys, that was my video on the new VivoBook S14 from ASUS. It's a very good laptop that offers a great balance between performance and battery life around this price segment. And especially since this whole work from home scenario started, if you are looking for a stylish slim laptop that is lightweight and at the same time can get your office work done, then you can surely have a look at this model. It's great for students as less professionals. The only thing I felt was the speaker's output and the placement could have been better. Apart from that, everything else was fine. The pricing of VivoBook S14 starts at 67,990 rupees in India. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.